Hello and welcome in this week's weekly live forex market analysis. Before we start, we'll quickly go through the risk disclaimer. Trading for an exchange on margin carries a high level of risk and may not be suitable for all investors. Before deciding to trade for an exchange, you should carefully consider your investment objectives, level of experience and risk appetite. There is a possibility that you may sustain a loss of some or all of your investment and therefore you should not invest the money you cannot afford to lose. You should be aware of all the risks associated with foreign exchange trading and seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any doubts. So with that said, my name is Edmundas Pavlovichus. I'll be your host today. I'm a senior financial analyst at A2Z Forex and head of A2Z Financial Tools. I'm also a social entrepreneur and working with multiple traders and trainers as well as brokers. So just a quick recap of previous week. Uh, last week we had UK's second estimate GDP. It's, uh, you know, it was revised higher to 0.7%, um, up from 06 from the preliminary reading. Uh, the main Upward revision was thanks to manufacturing industry. Um, that was the main contributor to the higher revision. As well as we had FOMC meeting minutes, but we didn't get to learn anything much from them. Basically, many participants expect a rate hike fairly soon, but only a few participants expected um, in the upcoming meeting. That would be in March. So basically, March is uh, March hike is on the table, but higher odds are for a June hike. This week, we have a fairly fairly busy, fundamentally busy week. Mostly, we'll have uh, GDP readings for other developed economies, as well as manufacturing and services. PMIs for UK and um, United States. Specifically on Tuesday we have US preliminary GDP with an expectation of 2.1% which is quite high compared with let's say Australia's um, ex GDP expectations of just 0.7% which was even uh, um, in contraction the previous quarter or uh, comparing US growth with Canada's which is expected to be at 0.3 percent. So in addition to GDP readings uh, we'll have on Wednesday UK manufacturing PMI as well as US ISM manufacturing PMI. Both readings are well into an expansion area at approximately 56 but we might have some divergence and some trading opportunities or well, fundamental trading opportunities there. If you trade Canadian dollar on Wednesday we'll have a BOC rate statement and decision though the consensus is to for the rate to remain unchanged at 0.5 percent but uh, the statement might prove some some um, future direction. While on Thursday um, we'll have Canada's GDP. Lastly, on Friday we'll finish once again with uh, U UK's and US service PMIs. Again, both are well into an expansion, but for the US, the reading is expected to be higher than uh, compared to UK, and if so, if confirmed, I think this will bode uh, well with um, an upcoming rate hike in June and possibly March depending we'll have um, next week sorry in two weeks we'll have um, NFP readings and a supported NFP could help Fed rate uh, rise uh, rates as soon as March. We'll finish the week with um, Chair Yellen's speech about US economic outlook at the Executive Club of Chicago. <clears throat> so with fundamentals more or less covered, we'll, uh, today we'll look into technical analysis for gold 
Euro USD, Euro GBP, New Zealand Dollar, US Dollar, and lastly, Australian Dollar, US Dollar. We'll quickly switch to our technical chart, starting with gold from a weekly time frame. This will be top to bottom analysis. So as we expected in our last webinar, the pair, sorry, pair, the precious metal continued to trade higher, supported by um, bullish indicators. We see uh, weekly MACD forming bars uh, closer to the neutral zero level, RSI sloping to the upside, and now reaching seven, uh, well, bullish 60 level, and lastly. Um, weekly stochastic oscillator above 80 level again sloping upwards indicating bullishness but warning of a potential correction so with that said we have no in the confirmation of a reversal yet and we should be continue trading with a trend the same could be set on daily time frame once again uh, all of our indicators are bullish. Therefore, our next expectation is for, for the price to reach uh, Fibonacci 76.4 level at 1,265. And this level tends to work as a strong support resistance uh, area. And we can see some, uh, some proof here as well as here. So it's basically it's a time-tested uh, time test the support and resistance level. Therefore, we might look for a potential uh, short opportunity. This should uh, we should not take this level as a reversal level without a confirmation. But instead, we could look for a, a rebound from this level. So concretely, we could look to sell from uh, 1,265 and take approximately. 60 70 pips uh, as our stop loss and aim back to a custom Fibonacci 88% uh, retracement level at 1253 this should be taken as our first uh, first take profit there is a possibility that the bear could fall as low as uh, Fibonacci 100 100% or custom Fibonacci 110% but uh, this this expectation will only be valid after a confirmation from our indicators moving on to euro usd starting again from weekly time frame the trend for the pair remains quite bearish Indeed, all of our indicators suggest uh, bearishness for, uh, well, further downside for Euro. Uh, we have um, MACD pars forming below a neutral zero level, area size sloping uh, to the downside, as well as MACD, uh, as well as uh, stochastic oscillator confirming the current uh, price move. In addition, all of our moving averages are, are sloping downwards too. The same could be seen on daily time frame. Again, all of the moving averages, apart from the 50-day moving average, are sloping downwards. Basically supporting the bearish price action. MACD is indicating bearishness as well. So the um, moving averages are supporting the bearish price action, and um, RSI is forming, forming lower highs and lower lows, which is which confirms the current uh, price action as well. We have a lower uh, low here, a lower lower here, and a lower high here compared to this one, and this might be seen possibly as another lower high. Therefore, as such, risk-reward favors selling 
euro usd on rally uh, rallies basically we could look for a potential sell opportunity from a custom uh, fibonacci 88 percent at 1.061 but as this level was already tested on friday we might instead look for a rebound towards towards um, zero uh, 1.065 which is an alignment of um, strong resistance level as well as 20 day moving average and our targets should be once again back towards 100 oh, sorry actually our first target should be approximately at 1.05 seven or 0 0.58 while well, after achieving it uh, we might look lower towards 1.054 however we should be careful since um, the current development is um, can be seen as a harmonic heads uh, head and shoulders pattern we have a head here, so this would be a reversed head and shoulders pattern. We have a head here, left shoulder here, and this might still be a right shoulder in, in development. So therefore, we should not expect uh, much, but rather just aim for a, for a correction of 50 to 80 pips from zero so from 1.065 just quickly covering our last uh, last week analysis um, the price didn't reach the our didn't trigger our um, limit order at 1.06 it was approximately 1.066. Basically, uh, one, two, three, four, five. We were expecting the price to reach approximately this level since since uh, Monday last week, and we were targeting targeting Fibonacci 100%. So basically, the pair did not um, did not trigger the order, but did did reach our expectations. So maybe you were uh, you. You got to profit from that, hopefully. Moving on to Euro GBP. Looking from weekly time frame, the pair, the cross pair, remains to trade in an upward direction, but um, at the moment, the pair is possibly breaking, breaking um, lower through the lower boundary basically from the regression channel starting back from 2000 basically 2000 end of 2015 and continue till now basically zooming in with this what this implies is that we might um, see a potential breakdown of the daily narrowing channel sorry the daily regression channel and therefore we might see uh, well really a free fall of price this would be taken as a, a technical development rather than some fundamental um, fundamental change so basically uh, concretely um, the bullish sorry bearish price move is confirmed by the price action we have lower lows and lower highs are both moving averages are sloping sloping more or less downwards also suppressing uh, suppressing the price and our daily MAC, MACD is indicating a nice slow start of a bearish uh, bearish price development so with that we might look for potential intraday buying or in selling opportunities based on these um, 
on this regression channel boundaries. So basically whenever the price is near the middle of the channel, we might expect some, um, some fluctuation towards the downside. And when the price approaches either the top or the bottom of uh, the channel, we could look for a potential, potential reversal um, back into the range. So for example, um, here we had MACD forming lower uh, lows, but at this point we have uh, the MH MACD, uh, MACD forming um, higher lows, and at this point we might uh, we could take this point as a potential correction. Um, I should probably remove my stochastic from this chart just to delete the picture. No, that's better. So once again here, um, here again we had the MACD forming forming a, a higher high. Here was a lower high, some price divergence, and at this point the MACD just, um, just MACD has switched to a neutral neutral position, and soon we had a price fall following it. So again, some fluctuation around the middle of the channel, and uh, once again price goes higher to the upper boundary, and we had a we have a three uh, subsequent MACD bars, uh, higher bars, and after that, after basically the MACD once again breaks through the neutral zero level, we have a following 100 pips uh, bearish price development. So basically you can really use any more or less uh, intraday uh, trading strategy here. Uh, the same could be done with uh, with stochastic on maybe four hour chart. And it's quite easy to follow stochastic on an oscillatory price um, movement. And we also have a bearish channel here. So this was just a quick uh, quick update on Euro GBP that there were developments on it. Moving on to New Zealand dollar US dollar. Last week, we looked into the price developments and we expected some further, further action, uh, further, bear, uh, further bearish action. And indeed, this was what happened. We were eyeing the 0 0.7713 area, and that's precisely where the price touched and rebounded. This was the support, uh, the dynamic support of 100 and 200 um, day moving averages. It was enough to rebound the price 100 pips higher. So this week um, we might expect uh, the fluctuation or well, the erratic price movement to continue while it trades between 0 0.714 and 0 0.224. Uh, we can, this is basically confirmed by last week's uh, doji price. Our indicators suggest uh, that the, based on MA, weekly MACD, the price is uh, in a consolidation as MACD continue, well, as MACD remains to trade near a neutral zero level. Our stochastic suggests that we have a confirmation of further bearish development and MACD and weekly RSI uh, supports the MACD indicating indicating a um, consolidation consolidationary price movement between these two levels at 0 0.695 
and 0 0.74. So moving on to the daily time frame, um, the consolidationary development is confirmed by 20 and 100 moving averages. Both of them, uh, the current development forms an MA sandwich, which as we uh, covered last week, indicates an erratic price movement development. Basically, um, whenever uh, if the within these uh, this channel uh, bound by 0 0.714 and 0 0.725, we can expect the price to continue moving in up and down uh, pattern above um, above the upper boundary. We could look for uh, potential bullish opportunities, and, but instead of going for a breakout, since they tend to be fake more than uh, more than not, so basically we could after a breakout, we could look for a correction back towards the upper boundary, and then enter a long position and aim for for Fibonacci 23.6 percent at 0 0.731. Uh, similarly, the same could be done from a bearish perspective. We could like wait for a breakout of the lower boundary and um, look for a correction back towards it and only then sell towards the first target at so we're more like an area at 0 0.71 or 0 0.79 area. So this sums up uh, the outlook for New Zealand dollar US dollar. Lastly moving to Australian dollar US dollar. The last week closed at the same point as it was uh, three weeks ago. Basically forming a third consecutive dodge. This really shows the strength of uh, the Fibonacci 110% at uh, 0 0.773. We, we see this as a time-tested, um, more or less time-tested support and resistance level. Uh, basically, I still, uh, well, last week we said for uh, look for potential sell opportunities again from the the ten uh, the custom ten level. I was expecting the price to still test um, the twenty day moving average at approximately seven six uh, seven six. Two, I believe it was, but the price remained in um, to trade in a consolidated consolidation. Basically, from indicators perspective, the consolidation is confirmed by our weekly MACD, which remains to fluctuate uh, around the neutral zero level. Our RSI just. Uh, trades flat at a bullish 60 level, while our stochastic indicates well, is on the verge of confirming a potential correction from that level. And indeed from Fibonacci perspective, I believe um, we could see the price fall to approximately Fibonacci 61.8% retracement level at zero. 0.75, which also will also be 50, uh, 50, and uh, 20 week moving average alignment. So this could be taken as a long term, uh, long term bearish target, with after a confirmation of uh, from our indicators, which. Uh, we will get back to uh, in our next webinar. At the moment, we have we haven't got the confirmation yet, 
so we could still expect the price to trade between the Fibonacci 10% and Fibonacci 38.2%. From the daily time frame the bullishness appears to be waning as well our daily stochastic remains to form uh, lower uh, lower highs diverging uh, with the price uh, with the price action our RSI is approximately overall um, fluctuates neutral around 70 level or 65 and our MACD is, well, our MACD is still bullish. So overall, the outlook from daily indicators perspective is mixed, but the three dodges indicate uh, a stagnation point, and therefore, with a confirmation from possibly weekly stochastic indicator, we might look for uh, further bullish, uh, bullish price moves. However, this, uh, this view would be wrong if we we'll see a correct, well, basically a price rebound from 20 day moving average and past our nearby high at 0 0.774. So basically above the high, we could then look for the first target of Fibonacci 0% 0 at 0 0.77. Eight. and the next uh, target would be a custom Fibonacci minus 10% at 0 0.783 while our support and resistance levels are at uh, falls on the current 23.6 Fibonacci level at 0 0.767 then on Fibonacci 38.2% at 0. 7.6.0 and we could possibly take 0 0.758 as our third support level. Meanwhile the resistance 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 levels are at, at Fibonacci 10% at 0 0.772 and again at zero at Fibonacci 0% and at custom Fibonacci minus 10%. So this confirms today's uh, weekly live analysis. The webinar was super, uh, supported by ADS Securities in association with A2Z Forex. And um, this concludes today's, uh, today's analysis and now it's time for a question and answer session.